Hi, I'm Bean. In real life, this jacket is a look, but right now it kind of just looks like I'm on a whole safari. Like, it kind of looks like I'm wearing a zoot suit. Anyway, <laughs> so for the lookbook that I recently did, I basically wanted to focus it mainly around this trench coat that I got. We went in downtown Savannah because I felt like that was really gonna complement the coat itself, it was a windy day, it was overcast, the mood was like absolutely perfect. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys where this coat came from because I absolutely love it and I feel like a lot of people would too. If anybody saw that video. <laughs> so this is the coat. I got it while I was in Korea. Yes, it's by a brand called Shihoshi, which is like kind of a very like small, more indie brand, but they have a lot of really nice Clothing. I believe right now it's only for women and children. Actually, a lot of their kids' clothes are like, like I actually bought one of their kids' t-shirts and like a large and it's like so cute. But anyway, this trench coat itself was like the golden find. Like that's what this is. This is like the golden. Have you guys ever gotten a deal so good that you just like thank your lucky stars for it every night? Because this is the deal. <laughs> so we went to Hanam Sounds, which is like this little, what do you even call it? It's not a whole district. It's not just a shopping center. <laughs> it's just like an area. It does have like shops and everything and they were having like a free market there. Not a flea market, a free market. Nothing is used or like vintage-y. It's just like where little shops come and sell their things. Chris's mom wanted to go there because she actually knew one of the sellers wanted to buy some of her like ballet stuff and we ended up looking at a lot of cool brands while we were there. One of them being this brand and I actually ended up trying this specific coat on off of the mannequin and I was already depressed. I didn't want to try it on off of the mannequin because I already picked out my little kid's t-shirt. I knew about the brand's prices and I knew that I was a broke hoe. So I did get a t-shirt, but I knew that this jacket was about to be like a trillion dollars because it's so beautiful. But Chris convinced me to at least just try it on. The last one that they had straight off the mannequin. So I did and Girl, she fit. <laughs> it's a medium, which like I would normally wear like a small or maybe even an extra small. Not, not in Korea. I probably wouldn't wear a Korean extra small, let's be real. But this was a medium and it fit me like a glove, which was like insane. Just for funsies. <laughs> Chris just humored the idea. He said, how much is this? Y'all want to take a gander? $90. Now. Earlier in the day, the woman working there called this like skirt that I tried on. She said that that was $30, $30 on accident, but she meant 300, you know, English. So I was like, oh, <laughs> she means 900, right? No, what was that? This was $90 for this whole coat. Like, have you guys ever seen a coat for $90 in general from anywhere besides like, I don't know, Forever 21? And also something this beautiful from like a small, a small indie brand with like such like unique detailing. I was just like so stunned. So that was like the best day of my life, except for the fact that they didn't want to take my card. Not that they didn't, of course they wanted. The machine didn't want to take my card. I was like, take my money, please. Like, I love this coat. I had to have it. It was the last one. So I got her, of course. She is the love of my life. This whole like look in general is kind of very like dark even for me like usually I kind of have like a like a punky like spin on like dark looks but this was very like loose heavy gothic vibe I enjoy it I love this coat it goes with like outfits like that basically that was my point it goes with things like that as well as just more casual outfits you probably wear it with jeans because it has these like kind of cutesy elements to it like this girly collar and this like detailing on the shoulder as well as on the sleeves the sleeves puff out the bottom has this very lovely cut it's very lovely cut and silhouette to it the whole thing just drapes beautifully. Aside from this gym, Hanam Sounds does have like a lot of interesting stores. We went to Still Books, which is like the little bookstore there. You can't miss it if you ever go. There we found like a bunch of really awesome 
books. I had a lot of fun in there. The interior is really nice. There's like really cool books. Like there's photography books as well, like photo books. And then there's like clothing, stationery, everything. I ended up getting a B magazine while I was there for Seoul so that I can like look around, see what's like happening in the city that I'm staying in at the moment. And I really ended up enjoying that. They do actually have like a second version of the Seoul B magazine with Hanam sounds in it which I thought was interesting, but I haven't, I don't, I, I'm not in Seoul anymore. <laughs> I don't got that book. I don't know anywhere in Savannah that sells Bee Magazine. We also ended up buying like a Ken Falk book for Chris's mom while we were there. And the whole place is just nice. We ended up going back actually with Chris's friends as well, just because I really liked that bookstore. And of course that's where I got this. So a lot of fond memories at Hanam Sounds. I know I'm just like throwing this around. I'm like manhandling this so bad, but it's, it's so nice. All of the detailing is just like super unique and I'm very proud of it. So all in all, I hope that you guys enjoyed this like look page. Let me know what you think. Rocking the Doc Martens that Chris got me. Always with the Doc Martens. That's my life. That's me. We love a deal. We love a sturdy shoe that's cheap and a sturdy, beautiful coat that is also very cheap. <laughs> my shoes were more than my coat. Wow. My Doc Martens were more than this coat. Maybe like you guys find that surprising, but if you guys saw the prices that this brand usually had, which is like fine because they had a lot of like really great materials and a lot of great detailing and they're a small brand, you know, but they did carry like every size, which is cool. But anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna take off this because this is a whole misunderstanding. <laughs>